I have to say, people packed into theaters to see Rita Hayworth in this 1952 movie after four years away from Hollywood. Many were disappointed, though. The story was considered a, a really poor rehash of Rita's great hit, Gilda, and she seemed strangely ill at ease on camera, lacking the confidence which had always been a big part of her on-screen persona, except, of course, in her two musical numbers. That's when the Rita of her love goddess days was there in full force. Columbia Studios did better by Rita, though, with her next two films, both major projects done in Technicolor. One was the biblical epic Salome, the high point of which was Rita doing Salome's steamy dance of the Seven Veils. And then she gave one of her best performances in a version of Somerset Mom's great story about Miss Sadie Thompson. After that, Rita was off screen for another four years. Then came Pal Joey, Separate Tables, and soon after came those signs of Alzheimer's disease, which nobody understood at the time. Up next, it's time for this week's Silent Sunday feature, and it's a big one. It's a biblical epic from director Cecil B. DeMille in 1927. <laughs> 